Hey guys, this is Jam of JamOnline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna unbox and take a closer look at the newest smartphone of Huawei, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. So this smartphone is their latest flagship smartphone and it packs the Kirin 9000 processor which is fairly new and I'm really interested in that one when it comes to performance. We got 5G in here, powerful performance and everything. So yes, that is really interesting. And as for the display, we got your 6.76 inch Full HD Plus OLED display with 90 hertz refresh rate. Unfortunately, hindi ko alam bakit hindi pa sila nag-120 on this one. Uh, of course, we also got here an 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. And for the camera, we got here a triple lens camera with a 50 megapixel main camera. And for the selfie, we got here a 13 megapixel selfie camera with a depth uh, camera. So I'm really interested with this one. I mean, Kirin 9000, we got 5G, we got a uh, 4400 mAh battery with 66 watts Huawei supercharged, which is really fast. And again, the Kirin 9000 talaga. The Kirin 9000 is the way to go para dito. I'm really interested to try this one out. So ano ba bang inaantay natin? I-unbox na natin and the hands-on ang flagship smartphone na to. Alright, so time to unbox this one. So of course, we got here, ayan. We got here the Huawei Mate 40 Pro and oh my god, ang ganda niya. Okay, so it does have a circular na camera sa likod similar to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So, sa loob, let's see here. Got your jelly case. Jelly case. The 66 watts Huawei supercharged na charger. Got here the earphones. And of course, the USB-C to USB-A cable. So, you you need this charger and also this cable para ma-optimize and ma-maximize nyo yung 66 watts charging natin dito sa Huawei Mate 40 Pro. So, ano ba bang inaantay natin? I-test out na natin and buksan ang smartphone na to para malaman natin ano ba, what's up ba dito sa Mate 40 Pro. So we got here the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. So this is the latest flagship smartphone of uh, Huawei. And as you can see in here, we got here really nice design. This is a glass back actually. And I love the feel that we're getting in here. The back is actually really ergonomic thanks to the curves at the side. So as you can see in here, we got here the really nice curves on the right. And on the left, similar to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Speaking of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, the design of this one is actually circular, circular. So it's very similar. This one looks like looks like a washing machine. This one looks like an iPad. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, going back, we got here really nice um, ergonomics, which I really like on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Unlike the Mate 30 Pro, we now have a volume rocker on the side. So we got here the volume rocker along with the uh, power button and below we got here the USB-C port the speaker grill and also the card tray So there's not much to see at the top of the smartphone, but overall it's light It's ergonomic and I like what we're getting in here as for the display Of course, uh, we got here the fingerprint scanner at the front. We got here the 6.76 inch Full HD Plus 90 Hertz display. So yes, um, this the display is quite smooth, but it's not as smooth as other smartphones with 120 Hertz or more refresh rate. But for me, 90 Hertz is already fine. But I wish it had a 120 Hertz, considering that this is a flagship smartphone from Huawei. Okay, so going back, let's go back to the back of the smartphone. We got here the. Uh, Triple lens camera of the setup of the, sm uh, of the smartphone. We got a 50 megapixel uh, main camera. It's an ultra vision camera. A 20 megapixel cine camera for ultra wide. And a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. So this one is capable of up to 50 times zoom. Actually, I'm gonna show you some of the shots later. And then, of course, on the front, we got here the 13 megapixel selfie camera along with the 3D depth sensing camera. That's why we got here a peel shaped selfie camera on the front of the smartphone. So the smartphone does come again with a curved display. I actually like the curved display and if you still miss that uh, touchscreen volume rocker, you can still uh, activate that by double tapping the side of the smartphone. So overall, I'm pretty fine with what we're getting in here on the Huawei Mate uh, 40 Pro. Alright, so we also got here 5G, a Kirin 9000 octa-core NP, uh, CPU along with an NPU. So basically everything that we're doing in here is pretty good. Actually, I wouldn't complain um, on anything about the smartphone when it comes to the specifications. Let's proceed to the software of the smartphone. So as you can see in here, we're running here the EMUI 11 based on Android 10. Everything is running pretty smooth, okay? And uh, when it comes to uh, the battery, this one is actually pretty good thanks to the software and the Kirin 9000 processor. We got here 4400 mAh of battery and a 66 watts um, Huawei supercharge. You can charge the smartphone really fast. 
the smartphone can last more than a day for me. Unfortunately, some of the benchmarks doesn't work perfectly fine on the MUI 11. I still don't know why, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the battery of the smartphone. So as you can see in here, we got here the software. This one is very Android-like, uh, similar to most Android smartphones. It's EMUI. Um, it, it utilizes App Gallery. There's no Google Mobile services in here. But for the App Gallery, as you can see in here, uh, we got here a lot of applications that we can download on this one. So it's going almost every day. And then, of course, we still got here the Petal Search widget pre-installed on the smartphone. So you can download um, different apps and games, for example, uh, PUBG Mobile. You can actually download PUBG uh, on the Petal Search widget. Just type in PUBG, go to Apps, and you can see in here that you will be directed to the official website in where you can download the APK file of PUBG Mobile. So yeah, everything is running pretty fine for me when it comes to the applications because as you can see in here, I was able to install I was able to install different games like PUBG Mobile, Genshin Impact, Mobile Legends, um, and many other applications. And yes, I was able to run Genshin Impact on this smartphone. So yeah, you've seen the applications, but how about the camera of the smartphone? This is the best camera phone that I've ever tried. Um, as you can see, we got here still the similar um, UI to the other Huawei smartphones. We got here the settings, of course. We can still record up to 4K. Unfortunately, there's no 8K recording on this smartphone. Um, but the frame rate, we can actually record that um, up to 60 frames per second. So it's quite fine with me that we can record at that uh, point aspect ratio still 4 by 3 there's no 16 by 9 on this one again still fine with me we still got here the aperture mode okay we got here the night mode the portrait mode the photo mode the video mode the pro mode and of course we got here the different um, camera modes that you can try and again similar to the other Huawei smartphones the camera of this one is actually really good again we can go up from wide up to 50 times zoom on this smartphone so everything was running pretty well and i love the camera that we're getting here i guess i guess this is the time in where you should you could take a look at some of the shots that i took using the huawei mate 40 pro So you've seen our shots using the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. It's really good. It's great, actually. I love the shots that we're getting in here. It's sharp, and the AI does really work on this one. It does a lot of magic on this smartphone. It's something that I really appreciate, okay? the AI of the smartphone. And for the selfies, it has improved, but I believe it isn't the best one in the market right now when it comes to flagship smartphones. But it will do uh, its job just fine. So everything, again, is running pretty well, whether it's the rear camera, the selfie camera, and everything. I love the camera of the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, and the Kree 9000 does a lot of magic um, thanks to the NPU of the smartphone. So I guess that's it for our hands-on unboxing of the smartphone. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here at my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of Jamonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.